YouTube has quietly begun rolling out its RSS ingestion feature, which means that you can connect your podcast feed to YouTube to automatically have new episodes published there. And while they said it's coming out by the end of the year, did you know that as an RSS.com customer, you can have that feature today? Let's take a look. So in this video, I am going to dive into how to set up your YouTube channel to have a podcast, and then I'm going to show you how to connect your RSS.com hosted podcast to YouTube and what kind of features you get from that. Okay, so you can see here I have a brand new YouTube channel set up. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to content and then podcasts and then create a new podcast. So I'm going to call it TIL podcast, which is the name of the podcast I have hosted over at rss.com. I'm just going to copy the description wholesale here, make it public. And then I do need to upload a thumbnail, which I will just grab and upload to the YouTube interface. And with that, let's click create. I, I've, obviously don't have any videos uploaded. So let's go back to rss.com. So over here, I've got my podcast in rss.com and you can see there's a little icon here, activate publish to YouTube. I'm going to click that. There's a little how to on how to get it done, but let's go to distribution. And then to publish to YouTube, we need to sign in with Google and then we will allow access to Podviz, which is the name of the tool inside of rss.com. We can choose a playlist. So I'm going to make it the TIL podcast playlist. It's public. This is really important here. Is your podcast made for kids? You have to answer no to this if you are not explicitly making content for kids. So this is not the same as is this kid friendly? Your podcast may be kid friendly, but unless it's literally made for kids, you have to select no for that option. So my podcast is not specifically made for kids. So I'm going to click no, it's not made for kids. And then we see some perks of the feature here. It'll create a video. It'll support chapters if you have chapters added and it's free. So with that, everything is active. So let's go back to our show. And now you can see that little uh, gradient icon has turned into a create video and publish on YouTube. So we'll click that. We can choose to say if we want a different title and description. So if you want to optimize for YouTube, you can. I'm going to click publish this episode. I'm going to do the same thing for each of these. Get them sent over. Videos being processed. So this is going to publish a bunch of episodes automatically for us. Now, while we wait for that to process, let's add a new episode to see how that works. I'm going to call this podcast swap podcast workflows, and I am going to upload an episode from one of my other podcasts. I'm going to upload custom episode art for it. Add a quick description. We're going to make this a bonus episode. We don't need to add keywords, but we will upload the audio. And then under more settings, we can add location. So I'm going to click save draft. It'll make the uploads. It's going to process the audio and then I'll have the opportunity to publish. And when we add a new episode, we do need to explicitly tell it to create the episode on YouTube. Now, if we go to the YouTube channel, we can see that the episodes I published are up and I'm going to click through and view this video on YouTube. So here's an episode I did. How is cold brew different from iced coffee? Something wonderful is happening here where it's grabbing the custom episode artwork and it is creating this kind of textured background 
and it adds a waveform here to give it a little bit more of a dynamic view. So we have the simple description here that's created. We can explore the podcast more and we can look at other videos. So that's it for this video on what you get when you use rss.com to automatically upload videos of your podcast to YouTube. You get a very dynamic custom video and it gets even better if you include custom artwork as well as chapters for your video. To learn more, head on over to rss.com. And as a reminder, if you switch to rss.com from another host, you can get six months free, which means that you can try this fantastic PodViz feature free for six months. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you out there.